guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how we can create placement group so there are basically a couple of ways and i'll show you both first i'll go to my ec2 console and i'll go to running instances so before that yeah so on the left hand side down below you'll see an option to create placement group so we'll come back to that first i'm going to launch an instance i'm actually not going to launch i'm just going to show you how you can launch instance in placement group so i'll select t2 micro and i'll launch it in my aws exam vpc and say i want to launch say five instances in my placement group and down here in the placement groups option you can see add instance to placement group so I'll check this and you can either add to an existing group or you can create a new group. So I'll create a new one <coughs> and you can see only spread and partition are available to you while cluster is grayed out. That's because cluster, the instance type which we've selected is not supported in cluster. So we'll go back and select an instance type which is supported by cluster placement group. So we'll go down below and select some new instance type. So on the page which I've given you, you have the type of instances supported by cluster placement. So yes, since it is out of my free tier account. And now if I go down, you can see cluster is available. So this is the way how you can create your partition uh, placement groups in cluster spread or partition. So this is the first way. And next is everything is similar to launching an instance. So I'm not going to launch it exactly. So I'll cancel it. <coughs> Next is I'm going to go to placement groups on the left panel and I'm going to create one beforehand. I limit my first placement group and you can select the strategy. So I'll select spread and I'll create it. Now I'll go back to my instances and launch an instance, try to launch an instance. <laughs> So it's very similar. Hmm. So now I'll launch it my AWS exam and in my placement group on the existing you can see you can see your placement group which you've created. So that's the other way. So these are the ways basically to add your instances to placement group and probably you'll try to launch all your instances together in the placement group and not avoid adding them one by one. So I hope this is it for this video guys hope you liked it please follow subscribe to my channel and we'll continue with our course in the next video thank you for watching